Hello and welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today's video is going to be an update on the AKM because I had a chance to take it out at the weekend after putting the hot rubber in and I've basically got some news to report. So, um, on arriving on Sunday, I went to uh, Chrono This and the site that I was uh, attending only allowed you to use bio BBs, uh, which I have, um, but they only allowed you to use the ones that you'd purchased from them. And the ones that they had for sale were Neutral Razor BBs. Bit disappointing, I didn't really want to feed those through my guns and actually a couple of guns did have issues with that particular ammo. Guns that have never had a problem before, they had a problem on that day. But what I'm gonna do is, um, so that it's rather, rather than you having to like sit through all loads of rubbish that you don't wanna hear about, uh, I'm gonna do each of the guns in their own video. So this particular video, we're gonna be talking about the AKM. So uh, I took it along, I've still only got the one mag for it, unfortunately. Uh, yep, hopefully they're gonna come through in the next few weeks, but who knows. Um, Rainbow 8 popped, uh, they don't do pre-orders, but 10 popped up on Rainbow 8 and I saw the email like as it appeared and ordered three. So um, with my other couple that I've got on pre-order that never got fulfilled, hopefully that's gonna get me up to a full loadout of six mags and that is what I'm gonna be looking to take out. So the, uh, the hop upgrade, that's probably the most important thing to talk about here. It really works. Um, I can't really speak too much for the accuracy, although I can say uh, when I asked the marshal, he said the, the furthest target on the range was at 60 meters. Uh, this was reaching out with 0.3 bios and hitting that very consistently. Uh, it was also shooting beyond that target as well, but you were losing a little bit of the accuracy and consistency on it. How it but, you know, ultimately, from a gun that was sort of like struggling to get like, you know, like 40, 50 meters, like 40 meters really accurately, 50 meters kind of like pushing it. Um, it's now kind of going 60 meters and beyond. So it's definitely kind of pushing more out of the system. But unfortunately on the day it was dual creeping. So because I didn't want to fork out and buy some 0.25 Razor BBs uh, in bio, because they will just never get used again, um, I, I didn't bother. So unfortunately yeah, it dual creeped just over on 0.28s and so the only time that I could use it was um, at the range at the start of the day, uh, before I've, before the games had started, and on my lunch break. So, and unfortunately, they sold out of lunch, and so I went hungry. But it did mean that I got maximum time on the range playing with the guns. So I kind of didn't mind too much, although I was getting a little bit hangry to be honest. By uh, by the last game, I was starving. Um, <laughs> never mind; these things happen. Um, I'd always say, like, whenever I go to a site, I always try. Um, try to like buy the food from the site because ultimately they don't make huge amounts of money. You know, there aren't any people running airsoft sites that are uh, multi-billionaires that I know of or not that have made their money through running airsoft games. So I always try and go along and support the site and, uh, and buy food from there. It's just unfortunate that this time, um, I get it, you know, because they can't cater for a hundred people and then only 50 people turn up, you know, and, and take huge losses like that. So they've got to make a gamble. Um, unfortunately, I think someone went back for two burgers. Greedy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, after dropping in a 60 degree Mr. Hop into this, I yeah, it's now hitting out to 60 meters, hitting a man-sized target at 60 meters comfortably. Um, but yes, it, it's, it was only dual creeping by, um, I think it was shooting about 300 FPS um, on a point two eight or, either 0.28 or 0.3, they're not far off, uh, but it was shooting about 300 FPS, and I was really aiming for like 295, that would have got me in. But, mm, there we go. Um, unfortunate, but I'm actually not too worried about it. Because we're moving into the winter months now, um, or heading towards, uh, I'm gonna be swapping the spring and the uh, piston out in this for the lighter original version. So it's basically gonna go back to a stock configuration, with the exception of that hop-up rubber. And as the temperature cools, Obviously the gas pressure is gonna be lower. And so actually the next time I go to a game, it's probably gonna be less than 18 degrees. And actually, I think this is really gonna shine. Um, so yeah, 
there will be further updates um, on the other guns to come. So uh, stay tuned and yeah, thanks for joining me.